my dear beloved teachers and all my students' friends. I greet you all in the sweetest name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The text that we are going to ponder this morning is taken from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 16. The letter of Paul to the Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 16. Let us hear the word. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. Living in a theological community for almost four years, one of the common things that I have observed is that we are all busy. When I ask my fellow uh, classmates and others' friends, they would say that we are so busy, especially for the third year, our final year friends, and also our MTX of students' friends. We are very busy with our works and our, our academic activities and other different tasks that we are doing. This reminds me of what the Bible tells us about time. When I read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 to 16, it reminds me about that we need to redeem the time. Taking this passage into account, I'm going to speak on the theme, redeeming the time. Because this very topic is very, very important for us as future leaders. The letter of Paul to the Ephesians has been called the, the Queen of Ephesus because it is probably loved more than any other's letters by most people. Some say that this letter was written by a follower of Paul's writing in Paul's name and it has been written not long after Paul's death. However, since the time of Irenaeus and Tertullian, it was clearly accepted that this letter was written by Paul himself while he was imprisoned in Rome, probably during the year 60 to 63 AD. Thus, this letter is also known as one of the prison epistles. Paul wrote this epistle to the people in Ephesians addressing the main ethical issues that they need to be followed. He advised them to renounce Pagan's way of life and follow a new life in Christ. He asked them to be the imitator of Christ, to give up greeds, not to associate with the evil things, but to live in love, to speak the truth, to work honestly, and to live as children of God. In the context of Ephesians, in those days, there are lots of evil things going on, and many believers fail to live a moral and ethical life because they did not understand the will of the Lord. Therefore, they live life like fools. It is clearly that they were having problems of laziness and drunkenness. Most of the pe people become drunkard because they were inspired by the Nisus, the god of wine. And in doing so, they lost the self-control. Thus, this is the reason why Paul encouraged his followers to follow the Christian way of life. That is to conduct oneself wisely by redeeming the time. If they fail to redeem the time, it won't only affect themselves as individual, but it will also affect the community as a whole. So, in order to be able to continue to do what is, do, uh, what is good, what is right, and what is true, Paul advised his followers to redeem the time. As mentioned in the beginning, the topic that we are going to ponder this morning is redeeming the time. So the first question arises in our mind is, what is time? What is time? Time is a common gift of God. It's a common gift of God because no matter from which country or race you come from, we all getting the same amount of time in a day. There are three Greek words which sum up the biblical view of time. That is Kairos, Kronos, and Eschatos. Firstly, Kairos. 
Kairos refers to the time of opportunity, season, or fitting time for decision and action. In simple term, it refers to the moment of an event. For example, if someone cannot attend this his or her someone class, that opportunity or that moment is known as Kairos. Secondly, Kronos. Kronos refers to the chronological time where we measure time in terms of seconds, minutes, hours, days, nights, weeks, months, season, years, decades, century, millenniums, extra. So that is Kronos. Then the final word is Escatas. Escatas refers to the age. It denotes a period such as the last days, the end of all things. That is Escatas. So, from the above points, we can sum up that time is a common gift of God, which can be measured in terms of seconds, minutes, days, night, extra. Or it is a moment or a period of time when something happened or is going to happen. So that is time. The second question arises, why do we need to redeem the time? Why do we need to redeem the time? According to Andrew T. Lincoln, a British New Testament scholar, he stated that we need to redeem the time because we are all living in the last days which are both short and evil. Firstly, we need to redeem our time because our time is short. Primarily, the Bible viewed time as a limited succession of days in which human experience of the world's flows. Turn with me to the book of Psalm Book of Psalm number 90, verse 10. Book of Psalm number 90, verse 10. The psalmist says, The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80, if we are strong. Even then, the span is only toils and troubles. They are soon gone and will fly away. Matthew Henry, a will, uh, authors and scholars, observe Psalm 90 as a daily prayer of Moses and his community, which was written around 1500 BCE. Derek Kidner, a British Old Testament scholar, together with Walter, Walter Brookman, an American Protestant Old Testament scholar and theologian, stated that Psalm 90 provide important reminder about the shortness of life. They also noted that the brevity of flowers and grasses are used repeatedly within the scripture as a metaphor of life's quick passages. So, our time is short or brief like flowers and grasses. So, we need to redeem the time because our time is short. Secondly, we need to redeem our time because our days are evil. Paul used the terms our days are evil because he is aware of the misuse of times and opportunity. In referring to Ephesians chapter 4, we can understand that during Paul's times, there are lots of false teachers who mislead the people with the wrong doctrine. If the days when Paul wrote this letter were evil, what must be the condition of our world today? Nowadays, we do have lots of false teachers. A few year, years back, many of our church members are confused and had a problem with the enrollment of Adhar card. Recently, we also had a problem with COVID-19 vaccine because some people took advantage of the situation for their own benefits. Also, whenever we look at the headlines and the social media platform, we, all see, we also see lots of evil things such as oppression, murder, corruption, drug addiction, drug smuggling, gaming addiction, terrorism, war, adultery, and more importantly, the growing of religious fundamentalism, and lots more. This makes us sure that our days are evil. Therefore, we need to redeem our time. Firstly, because our time is short. And secondly, our days are evil. Then comes the final question. 
how will we redeem time how will we redeem the time the scripture says be careful and live wisely that is live with wisdom in verse 15 Paul's road be careful then how you live not as unwise people but as wise the idea of being careful means to look carefully from side to side it also means that we need to be alert of what is going on unwise people are those people who are thoughtless careless and uncaring for the future they are not concerned about the steps they take or they are not even alert of the temptations coming in their ways on the other hand wise people are those people who are really concerned about every steps they take in the life under struggles according to john scott an english anglican cleric and theologian he stated that in order for us to be wise we need to take note of what Paul's wrote in the previous chapters. In the previous chapters, Paul's note that we must not confirm with the world or living according to the flesh or the devil or the pagans, but we must be worthy of God calls that is in love and as children of life. So, in order for us to redeem a time, we need to be careful and live wisely. Now let's go to the implication of this sermon. Firstly, a life is short. Let's consider this. If we, we live to be 70 as mentioned by the psalmist, and now let's minus with our age. Calculate how many more years we will live from now. Is a life not too short? The older we get, the better we understand that life is brief and pass swiftly. I'm 30 years old now, but when I think about my time, I feel it's too short for me. It seems to me just like yesterday. I was a child, playing with toys, going to school, but now I'm an adult. I remember 20 years back, we used to write letters to communicate with others. Then comes landlines, which we use to communicate. But these days, we have cell phones and smartphones. I remember in the late 1990s, we used to watch World Cup in a black and white TV. I also remember those years, we used to listen to radio. But how fast time is that today we have it all digital, either in video and audio. I still remember our town at Nongstein is filled with ambassador jeep, few buses, and even with lots of horse, ca horse carts. But you know the condition of our city, our towns today? When I try to recollect those memories, I feel that time passed very fast like a rolling stream carrying all my years away. It seems to me like a dream. This makes me realize that my time, my time is too short. How about you? Have you ever realized, have you ever imagined about the shortness of life, about your life? Our life is too short. And this is the reason why we need to redeem our time. Secondly, looking at the church today, most of our mission fails because our leaders did not redeem the time. Last woman Sunday, we went to one of the small churches, which is in the remote area. The church elder says, Here, we are so disappointed. We don't even get sacrament even once in a quarter. Our pastor in church doesn't even have time to visit us, but he is busy roaming in Shalom, and most of the time, he would, went, uh, he would spend his time fishing nonsense things might be happen on us also as future leaders this is the situation of today's leaders we don't redeem the time actually it is a task as leaders to give time for home visitation 
to interact with the youth with the woman's wings. Instead of searching for the lost one, but we turn to give excuses that we don't have enough time. Is it we don't have enough time? Or we don't know how to redeem our time? Or else we are not interested in taking our task seriously? The question for all of us here as future leaders is, how will we do later when we are involved in our ministry? Are we going to redeem our time? We are called for the cause of Christ and for the welfare of the society. So the call of this hour is let's redeem our time. Thirdly, as mentioned above, staying here, we all are busy with our works, our academic, academic activities, but we often have the, this habit of procrastinating. How many of us used to put up doing things? We always say to ourselves, I'll do it afterwards or tomorrow or next week or next month and so on. We also have this habit of saying that I'll do it afterward when I'm free or when I'm done with my studies or I'll do it when I'm involved in my ministry later or I'll do when everything is fine and so on and so forth. But let me remind us that we will never be fine. We will never be free as long as we live. Our works at Simon Extra will keep on piling, piling up if we continue to procrastinate. Until we die, we, we will still have lots of unfinished business if we don't know how to redeem our time. This is the reason why Mother Teresa once said, yesterday is gone, tomorrow has not yet come. We have only today. So let's begin. Therefore, we should not procrastinate, but let us redeem our time. Let me remind the importance of time through this quotation, which is anonymous. Listen, it's very interesting when I read this quotation. To realize the value of one year as a student who has failed a grade. To realize the value of a season as a farmer who just missed the harvest. To realize the value of one month as a mother who gave birth to a premature baby. To realize the value of one week as an editor of a weekly newspaper. To realize the value of one day as a person who was born on February 29. To realize the value of one hour as the lover who are waiting to meet each other. To realize the value of one minute. As a person who just missed a train or a plane, to realize the value of one second. As a person who just avoid an accident, to realize the value of one millisecond. As a person who just lose the gold medal in the Olympic. This is the importance of time. In concluding the sermon, before we leave this place, the call of the hours is, let's redeem our time. Or let's make the most of each and every opportunity without wasting time. Our life is too short. Let us not waste our time. God has called us for this profession. And as leaders, let's be the role model for others. Our church, our society will keep an eye on us. So, will they see us as wise person or as fools? The choice is ours. Therefore, since time is limited, let's remind ourselves that our life on earth is not defined by the numbers of years we live here. But our life here on earth is defined on how we redeem time or how we do. It's dependent on our deeds and how we redeem our time. What we are today is the result of what we use a time in the past. And what we will become in the future depends on how we redeem our time, our, our time now. What makes those beloved people who sit at the back attain their prestige, position, and honor? I'm very sure and I'm confident to say that it is because they know how to redeem their time in the past. So the question for all of us here as future ministers and leaders is how we see ourselves in the next five to ten years from now. How will others see us in the future? 
Are we satisfied of what we are today? Our future depends on the here and now. We have to start right now. Consider this. If we have to buy time, if we have to buy time, would there be any differences in how we spend it? Would the days of our life be used more wisely? Friends, a society is evil. Our life is very short. So let us not procrastinate. We might not get this same opportunity in the days to come. Therefore, we need to redeem our time. If we get the chance to study, study now. If we want to learn, learn now. Anything which we feel is good for us today, do it. Do it. Because time waits no one. One is gone, it's gone. It's never returned. We cannot renew it. It's so limited. That's why we need to redeem our time. Someone has quoted that the bad news is the time flies, but the good news is you are the pilot. This reminds us that we are not able to stop the time. Exact amount of time is given to us. We cannot stop it. But we had the power to control it. We had the power to use it or to misuse it. So it is our choice. So each and every opportunity must be taken before it's too late. Let's remind us. Let's remind ourselves that the call of this message is let's redeem our time for the glory of God. Amen.